Hi, it's Zoe. And Marie. We can't come to the phone right now because we're busy. We're busy renovating our new house. So if you want to catch up with us and see what we're up to, keep watching. Yeah, follow our new adventures on the vlog. The Woolerton Estate has finally arrived. Woohoo! Anyways, we'll talk to you later. Bye! Bye. All right, welcome to the house tour. So the first room we were in was the day room. And now we are walking into the dining room. That is maybe not an original piece of furniture, but we will see. So here is the office. A uh, really quick tour of the office. And now into the red living room, which is going to be our actual living room. We will show you a bit better um, in the next couple of clips, so back again to the day room. Oh, here I am going upstairs. So this is, we got there maybe 20 minutes before the movers did, so we toured the house. So here we go up the stairs to our right is bedroom number four. Um, I'm going directly to the closet because I wanted to show you the original wallpaper that's in there. So here we go. You can't really see because there is no lighting, but all up there is some of the original wallpaper. All right, they left us a nice old bottle. Here we go in the hallway into the bathroom. Now, Clawford tub, I'll explain a bit later, but the rounded wall in this room is where the bathroom used to be and where the tub used to be. It's now been converted into a tiny closet. And here we go. Eventually, we'll open that up again. When am I going to take you on the secret tour? Oh, yes, the secret passage. We aren't sure if this was actually supposed to be a passageway or a closet because closets weren't thing, a thing back in the 1800s. <clears throat> but this brings you right to the bedroom number three, which is technically the master bedroom that we've decided. And the little nook here, we're going to definitely build some bookshelves, have a little seat. And this is my craft room. So the red room currently hosts a chimney stack, which is that big wall. Some built-ins that are going to be removed because they are not original. And yeah, that's the craft room. Oh, here we go. I love this light, this lamp. We do have the same sconces in the bathroom. And I think, oh. So quick tour of the kitchen. Um, now I'm just zooming in on the pegs they've left us and there's a lobster. Now, <laughs> good thing you can't hear the audio because I was yelling at my head, they left us a lobster. And to my great surprise, they left us more lobsters. So the kitchen was probably themed around Maine in Florida because there's a lot of reds and yellows and a lot of lobsters. And oh, there's a peek at some original wallpaper as well behind the stove. I will insert a clip next um, after this one of some original wallpaper they kept for us, which was layer one of seven. And it's beautiful wallpaper. Um, the countertops... I'm not sure what I was zooming in there on. Oh, they left us a wicker bench, and that's the view of one of the farmhouses that we have. And oh, pantries, because you always need pantries. And an ancient bread maker down there. And there goes Mahi. Oh, they left us little frogs. All right, fast forward, movers have gone. We have emptied out the trucks. We have put our 800 square foot life into one living room. The couch, the bed, and one of the dressers is already away, but that is pretty crazy to think that everything has fit into one room. Now, mind you, the house is also 2,800 square feet of living space, so we got lots of stuff to fill. So here we go. So I thought I'd include pictures of the listing of so when this was on the market. It wasn't exactly the same when we came to visit, but just to give you an idea. So the previous owners both were heavily involved in the Eastern Townships and art curating. So what they had done is that they had transformed this house into a live-in gallery. So you might notice in a couple of the rooms on the main floor, there were uh, some gallery lights. Thank you, Mahi. Um, where... They had people come in and view artworks of local artists from the Eastern Townships. In these pictures, uh, I don't have any that include the um, the two barn, so the garages, the barn garages, nor do I have of the basement, I believe. Maybe there'll be one shot. But yeah, so I thought I would just show you how they had designed and done up the space and just to give us some ideas of what the possibilities are. 
Uh, if you might have picked up on it last time or in the note, the show notes, we want to transform our house into a knitting retreat, bed and breakfast type of place. So we have so many options and so many opportunities with this place. So we're really looking forward to it. But yeah, so enjoy the rolling uh, photos and we'll see you in the next video.